Hi, the person I was looking for. You and I need to have a chat. Kind of busy at the moment. Well, make time. All right. I have not been stealing Edwards Bentley. I haven't been taking money out of your wallet, so I really don't know what you could possibly have to complain about. Let's start with the project you've involved Dylan in and how it affects Monica. I don't know what you're talking about. Monica has never been a particularly involved parent. And suddenly she's involved herself in your problem. She's reporting to me that you're hanging out with the wrong type of people. And she even suggested that I send you out of state to college, which I might add is not a bad idea since you took off with Jason. Oh, okay. Time. First of all, I did not take off with Jason, okay? He asked for my help and I gave it to him. And the only reason I didn't tell you guys when it was happening is because Jason is such a loaded subject for this family. So I figured the easiest way and the way that would save the most time is to just go with him and then explain on the back. End. Wow. That was a brilliant attempt at deflection. However, it would work on the other members of the family, not me, because I don't find Jason a consuming topic of discussion. He is a violent criminal, which is why it is so alarming that he would ask your help in anything. Jason wanted me to help him find Spinelli. We found him. We came home. I haven't even seen Jason since. So he's not involved in this project of yours with Dylan? Okay, Dylan and I live in the same house and we attend the same college. It's not that unusual that we would be hanging out. And it doesn't necessarily mean that he's helping me with a project. You are working overtime to cover up something. And do I need to remind you that the last time you did that, you came up pregnant? So this time, I'm going to intervene on your behalf before disaster strikes. You tell me now exactly what is going on with you and Dylan. I don't have to. You're not my mother. Who will listen to me? Your mother is unfortunately too ill to give you guidance. Your father has taken off again, and that leaves me. You would not have had to go through what you went through last summer if you had been properly oh, supervised. it is not your fault that I got pregnant. There is nothing that you could have done that would have stopped me from lying and sleeping with Dylan. It would have been nice if the condoms had worked, so yeah, I suppose that is true. I am worried about you. Don't be. I'm fine. Yeah, Lulu, I was fine. Every time my father ignored me and I pulled some crazy ass stunt to get his attention, I was always fine. Okay, if you're implying that I'm mad at my dad for leaving, I'm not. But I know that you are. Really? But yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't blame you for it, but I, I get why he did what he did. My mom's recovery was only temporary and she wanted to get married, so he married her. But it wasn't legal. And he did all that just to stay married to you, so that should count for something. <laughs> yeah, well, your dad's a complicated man. It's not about the money, if that's what you're thinking. Are you trying to console me? I'm just, I'm saying, you know, whatever goes on with you and my dad, he cares about you. And leaving this time is because my mom's in Shadybrook. He's running away from her, not you. That was a brilliant diversion. But you still haven't answered my question. Tracy, I am not sleeping with Dylan. I'm not getting stoned with Spinelli, okay? I'm trying to get a connection with my mom. So I'm asking questions and I'm doing research. And yes, Dylan and Spinelli are helping me, but that's it. No, it's not. But I hope that whatever it is that you are up to helps you miss Laura a little less. Because it is hard to lose your mother. Thank you, Stephanie. Chrissy. Thank you. Hey. Mom. It's me. Um. I'm sorry that I, I haven't been by to see you very much recently, but I've been I've been working on proving your innocence. Um, Dylan and I, we we turned up a major clue recently. We found Rick Weber's date book. I mean, it must have been in his pocket that night. And anyway, it it has these two phone numbers written in it over and over. It's like. Instead of writing the person's name, he 
wrote the phone number of the person that he was supposed to meet up with, which already there looks really suspicious. And, and Monica is actually looking really guilty. She's, she's threatening to send me off to college and out of state, and she's already sick the step witch on. I shouldn't call her that. I mean, Tracy is a witch most of the time, but she is, she's weirdly empathetic. She knows what it's like to lose a mother. But you're not completely lost. That's why this has to work. So you can come back.